please subscribe. Volvo has announced its P60 range will kick off from £31,810 for a D3 engine model and momentum trim, and climb to £40,670 for a top spec inscription pro powered by a 247bhp T5 petrol engine. Standard equipment is strong, with all V60s getting LED headlights, rear parking sensors, an automated tailgate, a 12.3-inch digital driver's display and a 9-inch infotainment system. The portrait-oriented touchscreen includes satellite navigation, voice activation and access to cloud-based tapes like Spotify and Yelp. Unsurprisingly for a Volvo, standard safety kit is also high on the agenda. The V60 is the first Volvo to supplement its automatic emergency braking system with tech that's able to mitigate a collision with an oncoming vehicle. The V60 is also available with the brand's semi-autonomous pilot assist tech. As in the rest of the Volvo range, a plus or inscription trim level will sit above momentum, and each will be available in both regular and pro guises. Sportier R design and rugged cross-country trims will join the range after the car's launch, though prices for these models have yet to be confirmed. Despite the news that the V60 saloon cousin, the S60, will ditch diesel from its lineup, the V60 will continue to offer a range of Tewerke options in both 148bhp D3 and 187bhp D4 forms. Both diesels are offered with a choice of manual or automatic transmissions, while the sole petrol option, the T5, is auto only. Like for like, the D3 Momentum's price is £195 more than the Audi A4 Avan and SE 2.0 litre TDI trim. However, the A4 emits just 99 grams slash km of CO2 to the Volvo's 117 grams slash km, making the A4 cheaper to run for company car drivers. The V60 is available to order from Volvo dealers now, with first UK deliveries due late in the third quarter of 2018. The new V60 estate was unveiled at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show, continuing the range overhaul currently underway at the Swedish car maker. It's set to take on rivals such as the BMW 3 Series Touring and Audi A4 Avon. And if Volvo's recent SUVs are anything to go by, the Germans should be concerned. The new V60 replaces the old 7-seater and sits on Volvo's scalable platform architecture, SPA, which also features on the V90 Estate and XC60 SUV. This means that as well as petrol and diesel engines, electrification options could soon follow. While other SPA-based cars in Volvo's lineup feature one plug-in hybrid option, two hybrid powertrains are in the pipeline for the V60. A T6 twin-engine badged car, using a turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine in tandem with an electric motor to develop 335 bhp, will be joined by the more familiar and powerful T8 system, boasting 385 bhp. The car features plenty in the way of new technology and driver assistance features too, borrowed from other models in Volvo's young lineup. A city safety pack featuring automatic emergency braking can detect pedestrians, cyclists and large animals, and is standard kit. Pilot Assist, Volvo's semi-autonomous driving system, has been tweaked for improved cornering performance but still supports the driver with steering, acceleration and braking on marked motorways and dual carriageways at speeds of up to 81 miles per hour. Other steering assist tech includes runoff road and oncoming lane mitigation, which gently steers the vehicle away from both the edge and center of the road. Cross traffic alert with automatic emergency braking is on the options list. The design inside and out of the new V60 is hardly surprising. The exterior shrinks the form factor of the V90 estate, and while on first glance very little appears different about the two cars, the V60 takes its design inspiration from the XC60 in places. For instance, the Thor's hammer LED headlights are a bit more sculpted, while the front apron is more aggressively styled in comparison to the smooth face of the V90. 
The cabin is also a mixture of V90 and XC60, boasting Volvo's latest, paired back interior design language with a 9-inch portrait-oriented touchscreen infotainment system and a digital instrument panel. Boot space comes in a 529 liters with the rear seats in place, outstripping the Audi A4 Avon, BMW 3 Series Touring and the Mercedes C-Class Estate.